I was going to try the old Fokker DR1 here. I'm not quite sure where I'm at on him at the moment. He seems to be beeping and I don't quite know why. Is he not bound? Oh dear. He doesn't seem to be bound. Oh, well, maybe this isn't the right model. Wait a minute. I guess he's not a DR1, is he? He's a, an Eindecker. Got two. I've got a different Fokker. There we go. Yeah, okay, wait a minute. There we go. Right, my had the wrong model before. I had Fokker DR1, which is, that's the little triplane. This is the Fokker Eindecker 1. Eindecker meaning one deck, one wing. Throttle cut off. Throttle cut off. So a little bit of wind getting up. This guy really prefers no wind. He's a very slow flyer. He had a, um, uh, no, I've changed him to a brushless motor. He had a brushed motor and a, when I bought him a NIMH battery cemented into him, I had to hack it out. Now, where's the wind? What's the wind doing? Ah. Yeah, there's a little bit of wind going that way, I guess. Not a lot. I had the runner out because I was trying something else, which didn't really work too much, but we'll see. Let's see if we can do anything with this guy, then. Uh, this is a very old model. It uh, was a kit originally, I forget. Not GWS, I don't think. Some other company. Graupner, I think. Throttle cut off. Well, can't even get it moving. <laughs> I don't know. No. Nope. Well, hmm. doesn't seem to want to move. Not having much of a day today. It's windier than I'd expect right in the beginning of the day, and I can't seem to get things to move. <laughs> nope. Nope, I cannot get this guy to move. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Well, we got him very briefly in the air, but he didn't stay in the air. He really does not like wind, and the wind is getting up. And his wings are just pushed in, so they're starting to fall off now. I don't know. No, I don't know. He just doesn't seem to have enough power. Maybe this battery is no good. I mean, it's all very well and good, yes, that there's some wind, but I mean, it's not that much wind, and he just won't go anywhere. So I can only conclude that this battery is not providing enough power. He's got a bunch of lead in the nose, but I'm sure that's there for a reason. I don't know. It just, he just won't fly, will he? Cut off. Yeah, and, and it's getting windy. This is the problem. No, I mean, <laughs> I just can't get him to fly at all. If I get one wing in the air, he just sort of tips over. <sighs> I've had him flying before. 
before in the I've had him fly many times in the past, but today I just cannot get him to fly. He doesn't want to fly. He really does not want to fly today. I mean, he's in the air now, but I know he hates wind. He hates wind, and there's a fair bit of wind. Time remaining, five minutes. It basically hates wind, this plane. It's like a really, really, really light, slow flyer with no power. But I've flown it lots of times, but I guess mostly when I flew it before, I managed to find conditions where there was pretty much zero wind. I remember flying it in a bit of wind once at Etonia, and it was, of course, a struggle. I think I must say, at least we got the center of gravity right with that. Uh, he feels fine in terms of center of gravity and whatever. But... Uh, he really doesn't like this wind. Yeah, it's, there's a fair bit of wind, I mean, and he, and he just does not like Time it. Time remaining, four minutes. He just doesn't like that. You see, he's almost standing still because, <laughs> because, of, the, because of the wind. He, he barely flies, it has enough airspeed to move into this wind. It's not much wind, but but him, but he's not much plane. <laughs> Fair size, but he doesn't have uh, you know any power to speak of. Got a lot of flight surface and not much power. I'm certainly not going. To, I don't. I don't know if you ever could loop this guy, but I'm certainly not going to try today. I don't think you ever could actually. I should have could have put a bigger motor on him, and maybe I should have done. Time remaining, three minutes. Yeah, but I'm not going to fly him for another three minutes. Uh. Well, maybe I am. <laughs> not on purpose. It's just hard to control him because he's got no power and he can't handle the wind. There we go. Well, that's, that was an approximation to a landing. A bit of a struggle, that was, to say the least. He's been, oh, I don't remember when I flew him last. I don't think I even flew him last year, so it's been a couple of years probably, but. Throttle cut off. Throttle cut off. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's anything very much wrong with him particularly, except, I mean, I, the motor's wimpy. <sighs> Uh, and the other batteries probably weren't that bad, but the newer battery helped. <sighs> yeah, the, it's the wind that this, you know, I mean, it's kind of c comes and goes, but there's quite a gust, little bit of gusting here and there. And he does not like it. Yes, as old Corporal Jones used to say, they don't like it up on some of them. They just don't. Well, there you go. He's put a beautiful little figure in it. Whoever had it before, that wasn't me. It was, uh, well, I didn't do too much. I put some tape over some of these decals because they were all peeling off to try and save the lap them before they completely peeled off. But, 
I haven't done a lot of... Oh, well, and changed the power system completely, obviously. And because the old brushed motor weighed a kind of a ton, huh, it looks as if the battery has actually wandered forward from where I had it. Uh, oh, well, anyway, let's disconnect it. There we go. We'll disconnect it, and then we're good to go. Well, at least he's had a little outing in the air, albeit it was rather a struggle. The old Graupner Fokkerine Decker.